Hey guys and welcome to Die Graphics. Today I want to show you how to draw this Halloween pumpkin head inside Adobe Illustrator. For this illustration we are going to use the grid. So go to view, go to snap to grid, then go to view again and show grid. Now we need to adjust the grid to the right size. So go to edit, go to preferences and guides and grid. Now type in grid line every 70mm and subdivision 8. Click OK. We're starting off with the pumpkin itself. So choose the ellipse tool and draw an ellipse like this. You can count the squares if you want my exact measurements. Now go to the selection tool to select the shape. Then hold down the Alt key to duplicate and click one time on the right arrow key. Now release the Alt key and move the shape two times more to the right. Do these steps until you have five shapes. And now we want to color the shapes. I have prepared some swatches already, if you want to use those, you can download them down in the description. To load them in, you go to this menu, go to open swatch library, other library and find them on your computer. So now select all the shapes and I'm going to use this middle orange. Go to the stroke and select none. Now deselect the shapes and select this one. Then give this one a lighter orange color. Select the other side, give this one a darker orange color. And to put the shape behind the other shapes, Right click it, go to arrange and send to back. So now we need to draw a stem for the pumpkin. So go to the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle like this. Select the green color for this and go to the direct selection tool and notch the corners out a little bit. Now you can move the stem to the right place. Remember to notch it with the arrow keys to make it snap to the grid. Now right click. Go to arrange and send to back. So now the pumpkin is done and we need to draw the face. So select the pen tool and you can draw the face as you want or you can follow my instructions for inspiration. So we start off by drawing the eyes. So start down here and go across the square. Then go up to the starting point and hold the mouse button while dragging. Something like this. Now make this eye dark brown. To draw the other eye we are simply going to duplicate this one. So go to the selection tool and select the shape. Then go to Object, go to Transform, go to Reflect and click this Preview button and reflect the shape vertical by 90 degrees. Click Copy. Now move this eye over here. Notch it to make it snap. Now for the mouth, select the Pen tool again and draw it from here, over here and hold down the mouse button and curve it like this. Now hold down the Alt key to drag this handle back to the anchor point. Now make an anchor point right here and finish it off right here. To make the teeth, go to the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle like this. Then copy this over to the other side and up to the top. Now select all the shapes, go to the shape builder tool right here. Hold down the Alt key until you see the minus sign to subtract from the shapes. Now subtract these squares. Now we want to make the shadows of the face. So with the selection tool, select all the shapes Hold down the Alt key to duplicate and notch one time up with the arrow keys. Now select all the shapes, go to the Shape Builder tool once again and delete all these upper shapes. Now go to the Selection tool and we're going to select all these shadows right here. Make all the shadows this light brown. Now the shadows are done and we can adjust the face a little bit. So move the eyes closer to each other. Then select all the shapes, right click and group. Now by holding down the shift key to hold the proportions and dragging this corner, you can shrink down the face until it matches the pumpkin. Place it as you like. 